Okay, I recently mentioned in a video that I was uh, talking with my two-year-old about Adventure Builder symbols and what all the principles are and everything and how it was really cool that she was understanding things like courage and blah blah blah. Now, several people have asked if I can break that all down and I'll do that in a second, but first I want to say if you're going to be interested in this stuff and if you're going to tell your kids about all this stuff I'm about to tell you, you have to do it yourself. All right, all right. Um, so if you're the kind of person who thinks that telling little white lies is necessary in life, then you probably just shouldn't even bother watching this. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. When I made all this stuff up, I figured there were three basic areas of being a human creature. You've got your mind, your body, and your spirit. And your mind is what you use to understand your body and your spirit. Your body is what houses your mind and spirit and kind of limits what you can do with the other two. Like, have you ever tried concentrating when you're tired? You need your body to be strong to, to do these other two things. And your spirit... Well, that's kind of the uh, the motivation and everything, and really the reason for, you know, having a body and a mind. I mean, what would be the point if, if you didn't have any, any spirit in you? All right, so which one should we start with? Let's start with body. Okay, the uh, virtue of your body is strength. Because the stronger you are, the more stuff you can do. The more you can con concentrate, and the more you can let your spirit grow. And the opposite of that would be weakness, of course. So it's really important to have a strong body. So get lots of exercise and be active. Now, if we go down here to spirit... <laughs> what are you guys doing back there? <laughs> well, anyway, they're having fun. They have lots of spirit right now. Okay, the virtue of spirit is love. Let's turn that around. Which is super important. And, you know, inversely, the, you know, the, the downside of spirit would be hatred. And I... I see a lot of hatred today, but love so much more important, and that's what that's what makes life worth living. I, I don't I don't feel like I need to explain any more than that. Like, do what you love in life, and and life is great. Um, then over here, you've got your mind, and the virtue of that is honesty, because when you put information into your head honestly, then you have really good information to work with inside your head. If you deceive yourself regularly, you put in information inside your head, or you let other people deceive you, then you have really bad information in your head, and you can't make good decisions, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, and these all also have, like, fancy little symbols, like, here's the strong man for strength. And body is just a body. And spirit is fire, because it's, like, intangible stuff, like your spirit. And then love is a heart, for that's obvious reasons, I hope. And your mind is gears, because that's, you know, kind of like what goes on in your head, except they're not really gears. And gears are very cerebral to me, anyway. Oh, and honesty is an equal symbol, because you want the stuff in your head to equal reality. In, in this particular instance. Anyway, if you combine your mind and your body, then you get honor. Because then you're taking the honesty in your own mind and putting it out there for the, the physical world to talk to others. And that's, that's the world your body's in. So, you know, having, having honesty for yourself is super, is, is really the first step in being able to honor other people by telling them the truth and following through with everything you do. Now, if you combine body and spirit, you get courage. Because, you know, in the, in the physical world where your body is, there are lots of scary things. And you, you really need a lot, of your, a lot of spirit and love and all this stuff to, to overcome it. So that's where we get courage. And if you combine love and honesty, you get imagination. Because inside your mind, you have lots of information and it's really cool. But to rearrange it and come up with new things, you really have to go to a different kind of place in, inside your head. And that's where your spirit comes in. And then you get this imagination where you can come up with new ideas you've never even heard about. Which is really cool, because then you can figure out things. That you figure out problems you've never seen before. 
Now if you combine your mind, body, and spirit, well that's your life. And life is a kind of a two-sided thing. On one hand, you want to, it's good to choose a life that allows you, hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to break up some messes over here. <laughs> anyway, um, it's important to choose a life that allows your mind, body, and spirit to thrive. So, for instance, if you choose a life where you're going to have to lie a lot, just to go back to that example, then it, uh, it, it'll, it'll make your life very difficult. And also, as you go through your life, it's very important to follow all these different principles to make sure you have a good life. And, you know, help other people around you have a good life. And now the inverse of life is humility, which is hidden behind here. And the symbol for that is a backwards question mark. Because you'd only see the question mark the right way if you were looking in a mirror. And then you'd be seeing yourself. And it's all about questioning yourself. Because it's important to stay humble and know that all this could be garbage. Um, everything you ever think could be could be nothing. It's always good to, to question everything, even yourself. Especially yourself. So that's the whole thing. And I, I really started following this a couple years ago. And ever since then, most things in my life have gone spectacularly well. And any time I find myself kind of straying off the course I want to be on, I can trace it back to missing at least one of these things. Oh, nice. That's a better rescue, my poster. Ah, uh, that should keep it safe. Yep. The most difficult thing I've found in life is that most people will try to convince you that you have to tell lies or you have to, um, I don't know, get rid of your imagination, just do what you're told, all, all this weird stuff. And you have to do that stuff or else you'll be in trouble, you know, things will go terribly, blah, blah, blah. But I found it to be totally the opposite. If I stick to those principles, those eight principles, everything goes super great for me. Uh, it doesn't always go great for people who are fighting against me to try to prevent me from doing those things. But I always, I always come out really well at the end of everything. It's, it's kind of cool. And... Um, and not everyone's always fighting against either. There, there are a lot of people who are like, wow, that's really cool that you, you just tell the truth no matter what. I respect that a lot, and now I want to work with you, for example. Anyway, there's, there's just so many little, little things you wouldn't even think about that go spectacularly well. Just tons of piles of little details that go really well when you, when you do the right thing all the time. So I highly recommend it, and teach your kids that. It's really great. All right, bye. Laura, what's that one? Love. What's love? Who do you love? Papa. Yes. And I love me. Oh, very nice.